So Recorder has a new look and some new features, but making recordings is still as easy as ever. We still have our giant record button on the uh, main screen. Remember to update the Recorder website. And now you can pause your recordings to uh, sort of take a break and then resume them. We need to add the new videos. So you can see I have a new uh, recording right here and I can play it back from the main screen by tapping it. Remember to update the recorder website. So you can play and pause it from here and uh, down below you can see uh, a little waveform preview of what you've recorded. So you can kind of tap that to visually seek to certain parts of your recording. You need to add the new videos. And of course you can click the blue circle here to get some more info. So we've got size, date, time, that kind of thing. A slightly larger uh, waveform preview. Remember to update the recorder website. And of course you can tap this field to rename it. I'll call this reminder. And as usual you can uh, email your memos or use Wi-Fi sync to uh, get them off the phone. I'll show how that works now. So down here we have a Wi-Fi sync tab. If you tap that, ignore the fact that this says error. Normally it just displays a web address which you enter into your web browser. So I usually set the iPhone down, switch to that. You can type in the web address that's displayed right here, or if you're using Safari on the Mac, you can just go to your Bonjour collection and see your iPhone right there. Recorder asks you to confirm an incoming connection. Now it's connected. So here's what we get. We have all of our uh, recordings here. I'll tap this latest one, or click it rather. Remember to update the Recorder website. And it downloads and we opens need to add the new videos. Sorry, it downloads and opens in iTunes, which is my default media player. So that's Wi-Fi Sync. You have access to all your memos. So we have another new feature here. I'd like to show, we can uh, now trim recordings. You can see in this one, I've got a lot of silence here. So let's go and uh, trim that out because we don't need it. This can make things smaller for purposes of emailing and that kind of thing. So you can preview again with your waveform. So I clearly don't need uh, this stuff. So you can just tap these, trap and drag these handles here to, uh, to uh, crop it down to the, just the part that you need. A loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, and a stick of butter. All right, so that looks like the important part. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. And there you have it. I need eggs, a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, so now I have a smaller file size, I can easy, more easily email it, that kind of thing. All right, so we have a couple extra options here. Well, rather just one. You can choose a high quality recording. When that's on, uh, your recordings are better sounding, but uh, they're also larger. So keep that in mind if you're uh, doing a lot of emailing over cell networks and that kind of thing. The big new feature in this version of Recorder is uh, call recording. And uh, I can't show that here in the simulator because I'm running this on my desktop. So I've uh, made another video um, showing the call recording feature. So you should see a link to that on this page and uh, check it out. Thanks a lot.